Hi, welcome to Community Living. And in this episode, we'll be covering how to use the 227 platform. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is just the various ways that you can link an account, be it an account which you have internet banking with, uh, maybe like, um, let's just say your debit account. And uh, if you have, let's just say your clothing account and you know their login details as well, like your username and your password for the clothing account, you can also link um, that account, right? So I've just set up a dummy account and in this dummy account, I'm using um, the demo accounts that are already there just for demonstration purposes. I don't have 500,000. I wish I had 500,000, but that is not the case. And funny enough, um, 470,000 of the 500,000 is for retirement planning. And I've been planning on recording an episode that covers retirement planning um, for millennials, right? So yeah, as you can see, this is usually the first thing that you see when you log into the platform um you get to see your net value up here uh, you get to see what you have you get to see the various types of accounts this just says this is your normal check account um right so they've set up an, a demo account or demo uh, bank account with APSA, right, for demonstration purposes, obviously. And then a credit card uh, with FNB, also for demonstration purposes. And they're just saying maybe you have some form of reward um, cards. And then those reward cards are from like the 227 platform. And you have some kind of... Um, retirement plan or retirement funds that are also linked within the platform right so as i've already said um i will be showing you how to link your actual accounts so this is where you link your accounts and um you just click on the icon and you can link as many accounts um, as you'd like, right? Obviously, you'd want to find out a true indicator of your net worth. So it's really good to link all the accounts that you have, um, regardless of the type of accounts that they are. Like, uh, it, it's not just the um, uh, financial service providers that you must link uh, to the 22.7 platform. As you can see, you can also link things like your Discam account, if you have a Discam account, if you have like Unitrust with ETFSA, then you can also link that Fed Group. Um, if you have uh, an account with MTN, Mr. Price Money, all those various accounts you're able to link them by just clicking on them okay for this demonstration purposes i'll be linking my time bank account right so they want my id number So usually with the login details, when you're linking your account, you are using the login details that are required on your money app or that are required on your internet banking profile. Uh, for Time Bank, you usually log in with your ID number and your password or your ID number and your phone numbered pin, right? So okay, I'm just gonna press next on that and then say link account so it will show all the accounts that are under the time bank profile so there are two types of account it usually sends this message your demo account has expired i think it's because i've linked an actual account hence the demo account expired so you guys can see that that wasn't actually my account <laughs> Wow, it's gonna go back. So it's currently updating the accounts that I've just linked and it's saying zero for all of them. 
but there's actually money in the account. I think it's just a matter of uh, it's reflecting if it has successfully um, been linked to my profile. It usually takes some time, especially for the first time that you're linking an account. Oh, there we go. So it has decided to just put everything on the uh, the bank one, right? Basically have the two accounts. This is the actual check account and this is the goal save accounts, right? So I transferred the funds from one account to the other. And then as you can see, it shows those transactions. So an EFT from Capitec, right? And then money added to the 52 week savings account. So this is the type of overview it'll give you, right? In terms of when you click on the specific uh, bank or the specific account that you've opened with the various financial institutions. So same thing here. There's only one transaction because I have transferred money from um, the check account to the goal save account. So this is the transaction that is under this um, banner. And with the net worth, it basically shows you the various um, type of accounts that are linked to your net value. So if you want to see how much you're worth, if you exclude a certain account, you can also just select that. So if we actually let's take out the savings because that's where the money is. If we exclude the saving account, as you can see, my net value becomes zero, zero because um, we're only taking into consideration the check account. So basically that is how you link an automated um, account, right? By automated, I mean from there, you can see the transactions that are coming from that account. So you can also add a manual account, right? So this is an account which might not have um, an internet banking profile of some sort. So they also ask you, is this something you have or you owe? So I have an account with Luno. Obviously, Luno wasn't part of the merchants that we uh, listed in terms of the accounts that I could add. So um, I'm just going to add that account here or the account details here. So I have an account with Luno and then they ask me what account type is it. So it's cryptocurrency and then the account name, I'll just call it Luno Wallet. And then um, the type of coins that are there. So it's Bitcoin and Ether. Right, so they ask how, mu how much do I have in terms of the, uh, the coins. I think it's about 0 0.02. Um, then roughly the same here. Um, something of that nature. Actually here it could be, yeah. Then I choose an icon. Since it's an investment, I'll just choose this icon. Then confirm. Okay, as you see, it already links it under investments, right? So, okay, I already knew that this icon is usually donated for investments, hence I chose this icon. So under my investments, I have the Luna Wallet. And then it gives me an overview of what is happening on the wallet. So it gives me the price of Bitcoin. And according to the number of coins that I have, what is the valuation of um, my investments, as well as for Ether, um, it gives me it gives me the price of the coin. And according to the number I have, the valuation as well. Right. So 
obviously because um, this is a manual account, you won't have the same overview. So the ins and out of what is happening in the Luno account, I would have to manually input them here. Right. So we've went through linking an automated account, adding a manual account, and now we're going to um, adding a transaction. But before we do that, I just wanted you to note something um, which is very cool about the platform. So as you can see, my net value has increased from 415 to 418 because the Luna wallet um, actually reports sort of like a real time uh, valuation of my account so as the bitcoin or ether price increases or decreases it'll also be captured on the platform as well right so hence i've gained three rents from the last time i was actually looking at the platform so the last uh, feature that we're going to look into is adding a transaction so when it comes to adding a transaction um you basically have to choose whether it's an expense or an income and have to go through like a similar type of um, step related to adding a manual account. We have done this before, so I'm just going to quickly go over it. So it's something that I have or I owe, let's just say, because since it's an expense, I owe uh, someone. Um, actually, I have it because it's an investment, sorry. So account type uh, was a cash transaction and then the name I'll just say uh, one vest right or investment and then the value of the uh, transaction within that account let's just say 200 bucks um, then we can just click next sorry it seems like 200 bucks yeah. then since it's a cash transaction i just choose the cash icon and confirm this um account right so i'm just going to go right back because i don't want to add another uh, manual account so with a transaction like that you actually have to go into the account that you created Unlike uh, the other one, right, with the cryptocurrency one, you'd have to go into that one and add an actual transaction that happened, right? So firstly, you add a manual account, right, uh, to say what happened with um, that specific transaction, expense or income, and then uh, you add the transaction itself. So... The amount of the transaction let's just say 200 as well you choose the merchant let's just say one vest is the one that we bought um an etf worth and also select the spending group so since it's an investment i'll just say invest save or repay and then choosing the category it would be obviously an investment right and then just choose the investment and say okay as well and then add that transaction right so since i don't want to add another transaction i'll just say uh, done so that's basically how you add a manual transaction and the reason it's zero even though um even though we've had that transaction is because it was an expense right so we spent uh, that transaction is documented so we spend 200 rands to uh, purchase this one vest etf right so basically that's how um, adding a manual transaction uh, works so yeah i hope you learned something from this episode and please remember to like and subscribe